In this tutorial, we are looking at this question. How do I market my business online? This video provides easy to apply methods and some of the best ways to make it easy for you to promote your online business and drive traffic and sales. So if you're interested in knowing how to market your online business and create an online presence, keep watching. Hi, my name is Ashley. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so you get alerted about new videos. Please make sure you like the video because that tells me you like the content and I'll then create more content content for you. Thank you, let's go. In order to effectively promote your business, you need to create a foundation for your online presence and focus on getting in front of the right people quickly and efficiently. Business promotion is more than just publishing images on social media or buying ads. It's a process that will help you achieve measurable success in your business. Method number one, write guest posts for blogs that reach your target audience. Free traffic as opposed to paid traffic that comes from things like purchased ads is often hard to come by for new websites. You can start blogging to drive traffic but it takes time before you'll start seeing results. While you grow your own audience, guest posting gives you a way to get in front of someone else's. Not only does this drive traffic back to your website, but the links to your site will help with search engine optimization. Find and connect with bloggers who have the type of audience you want to reach. Offer to write a guest post that their audience will love. Make sure the topic you write about is also related to your business in some way. When you write a guest post, you don't just have the blogger's implicit stamp of approval. You also have the opportunity to leverage their audience to grow your own. The best way to get opportunities as a guest blogger and then knock those guest posts out of the park is to understand what the blogger wants to get out of your guest posts. Writing guest posts is an easy way to gain a lot of exposure quickly, but guest posts are also hard work. They require a lot more than just throwing a post up on a random page. Blogs with large followings have RSS feeds, which means that each post is actively sent out to a lot of people. With that many eyes on your words, you want to make sure you're sending the right message. Your guest posts should establish you as an authority in your field and give readers a reason to seek you out. You don't just want them to enjoy your content, you want them to follow up on it and you. In order to make that happen, you have to produce actionable, high quality content. It can't be too self-promotional, the best guest posts are editorial, not advertorial. In the same way you write a book with your target audience in mind, you should write every guest post with the blog's target audience in mind. Your target audience doesn't have to be identical but they should at least overlap, otherwise there's no point in writing a guest post for that blog, it won't serve your needs or the bloggers. Any guest posts you write should also focus on what the blogger needs. All successful blogs must provide continuous high quality content to their readers, that's a tall order for any individual blogger to fulfill. Most bloggers are on the lookout for great content to help keep their reputation going and ideally it's content they don't have to lift a finger for. When you write a successful guest blog, it's a win-win. You're helping the blogger fulfill their content needs and you're getting the chance to piggyback on their platform. But high profile bloggers have tons of guest post offers to choose from. That means they'll take the ones that provide the most value to the audience with the least effort on their part. When you're looking for guest posting opportunities, always keep that in mind. Bloggers are more likely to hand over the reins to their sites when you can show them how your needs, their needs and their audience's needs align. Method number two, get featured on product review blog posts. Getting your product reviewed can be a great way to spread awareness and drive sales. Instead of waiting around for someone to review your product, use a blogger outreach campaign to get the ball rolling. You may end up landing a product review on outlets such as Buzzfeed. Contact bloggers with relevant engaged audiences and offer to send them new products for free in exchange for an honest review. If you have a great product, they'll love it and tell everyone. A product review blog is a website with hundreds of daily viewers which showcase and review different products in exchange for a fee. These review blogs have revolutionized the product marketing industry. If you are able to get your product on an influential product review blog, your sales can significantly increase. Selling and marketing the product right is all about getting a hold of the right product review blog. It must be one that can offer the most suitable services to market your product. There are various different platforms through which different product review blogs operate. There are numerous ways 
is to get your product to a blogger and have them review it. These reviews, especially if done genuinely, have an important role in making your product famous on the internet. There are various ways you can get bloggers to review your product. You can send PR packages. One of the best ways to get a product review blog or social media influencer to review your product is to send them a free sample to test and review over their blog. The majority of such accounts do mention that it is a PR product but most readers don't mind it. The more creative and organic the review is, the better it is for your product sales. You can email offers to bloggers. Sending email offers to collaborate and review your product for your brand is another great way to feature your product on different product review blogs. These can be a little risky in terms of whether the blogger will even be able to receive and open your email or not to begin with. Once the blogger agrees to review your products, you receive some of the most genuine reviews ever. You can host a launch event and invite bloggers to the event. Another unique way is to host a launch event for your product and invite various bloggers to the event. Usually the bloggers get a small free sample to review for their pages. This generates bulk content for your product but it may not always be as powerful as organic reviews. If at any point you're looking for support and training in digital marketing then I recommend you check out the Internet Business School website, the UK's leading internet marketing training provider. They offer a range of comprehensive courses covering all aspects of digital marketing. Just click the link in the description box below this video. Method number three, do an expert roundup. While blogging is a great way to drive traffic back to your store, it takes time. This is especially true if you don't feel very knowledgeable on a topic you need to write about or you're not generally comfortable writing. One way around this is to ask for contributions from other bloggers or experts. Seek out experts on a topic and ask them to contribute an idea such as a tip, recipe or story to your blog post. Then publish a list of all the responses you get back. You'll be providing your audience with great content from relevant experts plus the contributors will want to share the article with their own readers increasing your own reach. An expert roundup is a collection of quotes or interviews by influential people in your niche. Each participant should be someone with some authority in your field and that has something to contribute to your readers. The most effective roundups pose a very specific question that the experts can easily respond to. It should be a question that people care about the answers to. This is an excellent strategy to quickly establish yourself or your company within the blogging community for your niche. And since you will be linking, sharing and promoting the responses of these influential people, many of them will be willing to help you down the line. The first thing you need to figure out is what topic and question to focus on for your roundup. Questions that focus on solutions to specific problems, software tools to solve a problem or tips and tactics are great directions to go when creating a roundup. If you have a general topic in mind but you are not sure what would make a great question then you can use tools like Ahrefs, Content Explorer or Buzzsumo to get ideas. Here is a pro tip. Whatever topic you choose, you want to make it as easy as possible for your experts to answer the question. Make your questions specific and limit the scope so that the busy experts can provide shorter answers. Find the right experts. Your experts are likely going to be comprised of bloggers, marketers or perhaps company executives. If you've been working in your particular niche for a while, you should have a reasonably good idea about who the experts are. The bigger the names you can attract, the more successful your roundup is likely to be. This is because their participation adds legitimacy to your article. Method number four, find affiliates to promote your business. If you want to take product reviews a step further and solicit even more people to promote your product, consider starting an affiliate program. Affiliate marketing incentivizes other people to drive traffic to your business by offering a commission on every sale, similar to a referral program. Finding your first affiliates can be tough if you don't have wide brand recognition. Use an outreach campaign to find and recruit your first affiliates and get the ball rolling. Look for affiliates who have an engaged audience and are already writing about your industry. You can reach out to niche bloggers. The advantages of this approach, it brings in targeted leads, leverages bloggers authority and could drive lots of traffic to you if they have SEO experience. Some things to keep in mind, finding bloggers can be time consuming and you may need to familiarize bloggers with the product. 
Bloggers make great affiliates because they already have a built-in audience that trusts what they say. If the right bloggers recommend your product and posts an affiliate link to your website, this trust factor will bring warm leads right to your doorstep. But don't just go after any blogger. Look for bloggers who share a target audience and niche with yours and recruit them as affiliates. If a blogger's audience overlaps with your brand's own audience, they'll bring in targeted leads who trust their recommendation. And if a blogger is an expert in the niche, your product or service fits into their authority will make their readers even more likely to trust their recommendation. Finding and recruiting bloggers whose audience and niche match yours will lead to more targeted affiliate traffic as well as referrals who are more likely to purchase from you, in other words a high conversion rate. And since most successful content creators have turned their blogging into a business, they'll dedicate time to publish high quality content around your product. They'll creatively showcase your product with compelling stories, create related images and photos or even shoot videos to highlight your product. Many will also have their sites optimised for SEO, further increasing the chances your products will be found by the right audience. There's a reason why so many brands recruit bloggers as affiliates. Method number 5. Get included in gift guides. Gift guides are a list of recommended products or gift ideas typically catered around a holiday or a person like your dad. Getting your product in the right gift guides can increase sales and traffic to your website. However, inclusion in these guides doesn't happen randomly and requires some effort. In many cases, business owners and marketers lobby to get their products included. Use outreach to contact gift guide publishers and ask to have your product included. Method number six, invest in infographics. Graphics. Investing in a professionally designed infographic is one way to drive traffic and potentially build backlinks which are great for search engine optimization SEO. The cost ranges greatly for quality infographics depending on what you need and the skill level of the person you hire but it can be well worth the investment. Need an idea for an infographic? Check out sites like Visually for inspiration. Once you've chosen an idea, research the topic and identify the points you'll cover in the infographic. You can hand this outline over to a professional designer as direction for what you want the infographic to cover or as a guideline for yourself if you're going the DIY route, in which case you should check out tools like Canva or Pictochart. Let's say you sell bicycles and related gear. You might create an infographic that talks about the environmental benefits of bicycling. Some points or figures you might include in the infographic could be how much a daily commute saves in fuel emissions as well as a comparison of the total number of car owners and bike owners. That message speaks to your customer base but it is also compelling enough that many blogs and even news sites might want to feature and link back to it. Method number seven, get press coverage. Instead of hiring a PR company, take control of your own publicity. If you have a great story or an interesting product that people will want to write about, put it out there. Get in touch with bloggers and journalists who cover businesses like yours and tell them what you're up to. While it's true that most writers are inundated with requests, they are still always on the lookout for a good story. Make sure you target the right publications, i.e. don't ask a tech writer to cover your clothing line, and offer them a compelling story to improve your success rate. When marketing a new business, press coverage is a good way to get your name out there. Thank you for watching and be sure to let me know in the comments below the video which method from this video you are going to implement first. I would be interested to hear from you. So the next thing to do if you want to accelerate your learning even further and develop your digital skills, make sure you go and click the link under the video now and visit the Internet Business School website, the UK's leading internet marketing training provider. They offer a range of comprehensive courses covering all aspects of digital marketing. They will give you all the training, skills and knowledge you need to create a profitable online business. If you are interested in that, which I hope you are, just click the link in the description box under the video and take a look at it. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and please like the video. Just click the subscribe button below this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.